Hey love, so before I hop into today's video, I wanted to give a big shout out to Spizy for sponsoring today's video. Spizy is a world's most advanced phone monitor solution basically with this app you can track everything you want to know literally ladies if you want to find out if your man is cheating on you then you need to download this app. to all the moms out there if you want to know what your kid is going to be doing you can literally look at their call logs messages get alerts you can always know their location keep track of them read the browsing history so if you want to monitor something or just find something out make sure to click the link in the description and get the spicy app today Spicy is compatible with Android and iOS. Hey, what is up, you guys? And welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, that's you right there. Welcome to my channel, darling. So you guys, today I'm bringing you guys another vlog and as you can see behind me, we are getting ready to get Liddy tonight. Not Liddy, just a little kickback, we're like close friends. So I was like, you know what, let me vlog because I haven't vlogged in a minute. Like, I haven't vlogged turning up in a minute, so hopefully I get a good, cute turn up vlog. So before I hop into this video, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to comment down below. So you guys, this is what I'm wearing, but I don't know if I'm going to wear this fanny pack just because I feel like this is doing too much. So here, look, let me take it off and let me show you guys how it looks without it. I like it better personally like this, but when I twerk, I'm gonna put it down like this. And this is the crop top, and so I'm like... So, yeah. So Gabriel went to pick up his friends from the guest parking. That's the only thing I hate about my apartments is the guest parking. You need to park really far and there's not always going to be guaranteed parking there. So every time people come over, it's always like a hassle. Here they come though right now. Yeah, go right there. I'm excited to get Lady. I haven't drank yet, so we'll probably all take a shot or something right now. The lighting is really bad, but this way it looks better. Oh, and I did like a little light glam because, you know, I didn't want to sweat too much. My babies get so wild when we have guests over. They need to literally like calm down, but they're literally like their owners. We're really nice and friendly. So literally they get so happy and hyped when anyone comes over and then like five minutes, they'll calm down. Y'all, Cynthia pulled up on me. Hey, I forget both of y'all. I heard it's Cynthia too. I know. <laughs> I'm going to take a shot of crown. What are you going to take? Some crown? I'm excited. You guys, so we're playing and we have three and three. So, uh, we're tied. Baby. We, they low key really good. They get it as drunk. Yeah, we want to stop like. Put some like this. I don't like it like that. I mean, oh, you want it like okay. Yeah. Yeah. We should. Oh, close. You got it, babe. Money was spin. 
<laughs> but you're supposed to blow it because you're a girl. Oh, you're supposed to blow it. Yeah, right there, I'm sick. I've never played, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait, where are y'all shot? What y'all want some smear on? Perfect. Y'all, they're about to play more beer bomb. I took a dab, so I'm like, you guys, so they're playing a game. <laughs> Y'all, so I'm kind of lady, but. You're so cute, I'm not that late. Are you late? No, no. no. It's just that was so nasty. What was well, I don't nasty? Think I could shoot it. Cause the little whatever was left of the peach, I like tried to chug that and that's like, oh. oh, you tried to chug that shot, shot? Okay. Thank you. I know my kitty. Playing for real, for real. She said I touched the ball. <laughs> they played for real, for real. They was fighting for that ball. <laughs> You guys, it feels so good outside right now. I don't know why it's really hot in my little apartment. Probably because everybody's in there, but I can't wait for Adelena to come here. We do should put up the pole. Yeah, we should put up the pole. Put it up. Ace, get down. That's his first time he's doing. Oh, he's so cute. Get down, Ace. Get down, Ace. Good boy. They have wood chips that they chewed or whatever, but. Yeah, let's put the pole up. Pass out. You guys, Gabriel's putting up this. I'm excited. That means we're gonna get a little lit. You guys, so it's currently 12:39. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's take a picture. They was gonna calm down. They just, you know, they wild at first, but they calm down. Look at how big. Look at them sweating, babe. You? Yeah, I'm having so much fun. Yo, we're lit in the patio. We're lit, lit. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, she. We are. We are. Hey, 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 She I'm finna not. rap. She finna rap for us or whatever. So that that money I'm earning, I've been hey, playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. 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 I've been killing that shit, period. Hey. They ain't got nothing. Hey. Hey. If they be out here talking, then. Hey. Everybody's drunk, y'all. You finna take a shot? Y'all can take that? No. Yeah, take half with me. Okay, yeah. I just took half a shot of Patron. I'm gone. Here, look, I got the pole grip. I got the pole grip. This ain't no. 
Oh, oh. out of your friends is here. Oh. Hey, hey brother. Oh, for real? Yeah, this is Chris. This is her dad. How you doing, man? Too. Nice to meet you, Chris. And this is my other cousin. What? Okay. I'm looking. Hey. Hey. I'm like. Oh, hi, kid. <laughs> Wait it. Wait it. So you know I'm not lying. Y'all, we're about to take a shot. Oh my god, I'm so effed up. We lit or whatever. Um, I'm still not as fat. I'm getting there. So I want to she, get She catching up. They're all taking shots, y'all, and I'm just here. Like. Oh. Hey. Y'all, so I changed. And yeah, so we're just all chilling. It's really annoying. It's drama. With Gabriel's family because they did us don't want to accept that he's gay and they did us bully. I'm so tired. Family did us be bullying me, y'all. And it's not okay. They did us don't like. I'm with him. They're always gonna be sick. It's, it's not even okay. Okay, y'all. I don't ever speak on that out of respect. <sighs> if y'all only knew what I go through. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna put myself together because <sighs> it's just hard when you love someone and their family's gonna be in your life and they don't accept you and they just. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff that has happened that I don't talk about and I just know that. I'm gonna open gate and I'm gonna wear makeup and I'm gonna dress how I want and I'm gonna be who I want regardless period and if people don't like that then they can fuck period cuz I'm gonna live my life and I'm gonna live my happiest life with my boyfriend Gabriel that is gay period <laughs> She's serving looks today, honey, because I did not come to play because we're gonna get straight to the point because y'all know We have a lot to discuss period so you guys it is currently a few days after all that had went down Literally, I needed a few days to calm down get my thoughts together before I came on camera because if I would have came on camera Literally the next day. I would have been demonetized for sure. Whew. Okay, you guys so now Let's get into what had happened a few days ago at this little kickback that me and Gabriel decided to have. We'll get something to drink because you already know this is tea. Tea time with Fatty Chris, even though it shouldn't be considered like tea or made into a joke because at the end of the day, this is a serious matter and at the end of the day, my sexuality was involved. And I do not play when it comes with my sexuality. Like I've been through so much and I know where I come from, who I am, and that's just that. I'm gonna get some tea. So stay tuned, pinches chismosas. I got my tea. I got this tea because it kind of matches like the look I'm going for today. This is a really big cup. So I'm not gonna feel it. Let's jump into this because I have to inform it. Because honestly, I did not want to even talk about it anymore. And the heat of the moment, I was really upset, but I took a few days to really just relax and think and and just surround myself with loved ones who actually love me and I was just you know not in like a messed up mind but at the time I was just really confused because like even the following day I was really just in like a mood and a funk and it's just like confusing I'm just now, now as of today I don't care like I know where I'm at and when people try to come for me it's just like it's not on no cocky shit it's not me being cocky it's not like I've been through the struggle I know how it is like a lot of people just want to see me and just judge right off the back like they don't know where I come from they don't know my history they don't know my background nada they don't know nothing and they just want to judge right off of that or they just want to judge at the present like people don't know all the sacrifices I've made to be where I'm at today to be in my own apartment to be living on my own since 18 people don't know I know I'm an influencer so I kind of you know already have experience with dealing with hate and dealing with negativity it's just kind of harder when it's actually like from people you're gonna be you know from people you're gonna see like it's my boyfriend's family i'm gonna just take it back a little so i'm gonna just take it back a little so this is not the first time like i've been called 
by Gabriel's family and I'm not trying to bash them. I'm not trying to throw tea. I'm not trying to throw shade. Like it is what it is. This is the truth. The darkness is always going to there's always going to be light brought to darkness. Period. And this is the truth because I'm an influencer and I show you guys my life and this is part of my life and at the end of the day this is like I feel like this is the only escape I have. Not like the only escape, but it's something that really does help and it does get a lot off my chest and it does feel refreshing knowing that someone's watching me and someone you know not that i'm saying i need sympathy i need you to care for me i need you to feel bad no it's just saying it does like to be able to leave an impact on somebody and let them know it's okay to be open and be yourself and be able to express your life express your way of living be able to live free and carelessly don't be scared don't get judged like i get judged and i've been through so much just for being who I am where it's like to the point where it's like all those traumatic experiences like it's sad to say but it's like who the person I it builds you up to the person who you are so like I do not play when people try to come for me and it's just uh, it's just like a disrespect thing like there's boundaries people to be able to come to my channel and consider this a safe place and get away you know because I like coming on here and this is my getaway I love posting content like I'm not doing this for the money I'm not doing it because that was the case I would have been stopped because YouTube hasn't even been paying a girl like she should be getting paid but we're not gonna so basically we had a kickback they had so Gabriel's cousins had came um prior to this we've had incidents i don't even know y'all like i just walk in a room and i just uh, apparently i make guys feel uncomfortable and question their sexuality and i just like if i'm over here and i'm not even bothering you why should i be a big like target why should i you know at the end of the day i just say it like this like if you're such a manly straight guy i shouldn't bother you like your masculinity shouldn't be questioned if just because i'm in the room like it's not like if i'm up on them like daddy trying to dance or being really extra gay like no i'm just being me and being the butterfly and the loving caring person that i am and you see that and you get jealous or i don't know what clicks in your head or what personal issues you have that you can't deal with because you can't be open in who you really are because you want to target me for no reason i don't know long story short long story short so we were all kind of tipsy whatever we were just in here and gabriel's cousins i guess they're not used to him like Gabriel's family is very Mexican and he recently just came out like came out like I'm his first boyfriend He just came out like no longer that no more than like four years ago He just came out and it's really I guess hard on his family I remember when I first met his family it was kind of tough like they didn't really accept me I can say and I don't know, it was kind of weird at first, but in my mind, I'm just like, I have to have a, a good relationship with his family as well, but at the end of the day, like, it's our relationship. If they're not going to accept who you are, they're not going to accept who you are. Like, it is what it is. His cousin's side came over, whatever. We're all tipsy. It was a good night. We're all playing, like, having fun. We're all tipsy, whatever, until his cousin started telling Gabriel, like, this is not you. You used to, like, so much like what are you doing like basically just being really disrespectful like saying that he's not gay like what are you doing and he was being really like right off the back like oh well i'm gonna respect you gabriel and only you because you're my cousin like already throwing shade and i'm just like they're like boy you're in my own home like it's like very rude and disrespectful right off of the back so i was just there like mm. So I'm tipsy already, so I'm not going to, you know, stand for it. So things got more heated, and I recorded most of it, so I'm just going to insert the clips, and y'all will be the judge, and y'all will hear everything that went down. Period. 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 Why you going to hate? Period. Like, that's jealousy. He came out Period. Period. Let him know. Jealousy. Period. Preach. You should be happy, dude. Look at this house he in. First of all, this should never be a conversation because this should exactly. be normal. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's their business and that's si, that. Si yeah. no nos juntamos o lo que quieras, es por... Did I snow? He just called me a faggot in my own home? And I was supposed to just accept it? No, y'all can leave. Deadass, I'm sorry. No, he can leave.
I wish you were different. You're not, you're you're not disrespecting me. I'm trying not to You're disrespecting me, my other halfway. Hurting you're fucking hurting the He's love of his life. Not everyone's gonna have the same beliefs, but don't come in somebody's home disrespecting their home, especially when you weren't invited to begin with. That's the real tea. And it sucks because Gabriel was put in such a rough situation, a tough situation and a spot. Like he was, I felt like he had to choose between me and his family, and I don't ever want him to feel that way. So it was more like. I don't know, so I, at the end of the day, you're not gonna come into my home and you're not gonna disrespect me and think I'm not gonna say anything about it because, and it is what it is because at the end of the day, I did nothing wrong. Like, I get, I choose to live this lifestyle and put it out there and be who I am, but this is what comes with it. The sad reality and the sad truth is this is what comes with it. People are gonna bully you, people are gonna harass you for no apparent reason, just because they see you happy. That literally sparks like evil in their heart, evil people. Could you, I just don't know how people could have so much hate and evilness inside to just let it out on someone. They have to just throw it at someone that they don't even know nothing about. Like, do you even know my last name? But you guys, I'm not here to slander anybody, to or not asking for sympathy, nothing. I just, that's what went on. I was really, towards the end of the night, those clips when I was crying and stuff, I was really, you know, starting to get drunk because I had took more shots and stuff. But still, it is what it is, like... I'm not hiding nothing. My life's an open book. If this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and you guys are going to see with it. I don't care who gets mad. But at the end of the day, if parents don't teach their kids, like, everyone's different. It's 2019. Like, there's going to be more to teach your kids, educate them. People are so close-minded, and it's so weird because it's like they think this is the lifestyle of living, and it's like... You're a bum. That's not the way to go. Like, saying because a lot of people don't know my background. Like, people think I'm just some flamboy. Like, I come from the hood. Like, all my brothers have are about that shit. Like, my family is about that. Just because I'm, I don't look like I'm about it, don't mean I'm not about it. Like, I'm just not in that state of mind no more. I'm not in that area. Like, I, I got out to better myself. And there's a lot of people that are still in there that pity and throw shade at me just because we came from the same place. But I did something and I got out of it because I didn't want to end up in the street i didn't want to end up in a body bag for all i know like i know so many of my friends i went to that i graduated with high school with that have passed away like rest in peace to all their souls and it's just crazy i'm just happy that i'm in a better place a better state of mind and that i just can accept who i am and i have love that can just block out all the hate because nothing can ever get to me period and i tell myself that daily i look in the mirror and i have to tell myself you are that and you are meant here to be because there's somebody watching this right now you may not speak you may not know but i know there's somebody watching this and they feel peace and they feel love and they feel comfort by it. just me talking and me being here connecting one-on-one -on -one with you because that's honestly all i want to do because this is why i do youtube but that being said you guys I'm going to end this video here and I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog and if anyone got offended please just you know I'm over it so don't throw no slander or shade or hate towards anyone if you guys know who they are just you know it is what it is so remember to always stay classy never trash and just a little bit nasty fatty Chris loves you bye babies if you're watching this too and you know someone who's gay don't bully them you don't know what they're going through you dead ass don't know what they're going through people go through so much don't bully them on top of that and make more of a heart more baggage on them just because of who they want to be let them live life so if you see somebody you know that's alone or just you know considered a loner go be nice to them say hi you never know just be friendly like it won't hurt to just what it won't hurt to just spread some positivity some love like it really won't hurt and you'll feel so much better after you do it like just try it just try it today compliment somebody or just make some do a nice gesture and then tell me how it went down below because i'm curious